Hey guys, S2W here with your W Overview, your weekly update to the top headline sneaker releases for the next 7 days. May is looking like a hot month with so many interesting drops that even this week, it's not stopping as well. A cop or drop poll will be available at the top right corner of this video, so feel free to click on the window as it pops out to vote. Let's take a look at what's dropping between May 12th to the 18th of 2019. Releasing on the 14th, the Nike Air Vapor Max by Cactus Plant Flea Market for $250. US Apparently, it's their first sneaker collaboration with each other, and one that celebrates with a playful DIY look. Featuring a synthetic upper, 3D puff lettering that reads Nike's slogan Just Do It, stitched taping, and a neon green swoosh made by Gardening Wire, it's a sneaker that's only available in women's sizing. This mismatching colorway they chose highlights the natural beauty of time in the cityscape between dawn and dusk. Their signature double-eyed smiley face logo is also fixed to the heel, and the Vapor Max solo unit is decorated with a two-toned look. There's also a light-up version as well, but sadly, those are for friends and family only. It doesn't seem like a lot of places are releasing these, so stock will be quite limited, but they are releasing them on the sneakers app and CPFM site at an undisclosed date. On the 16th, another Nike collaboration is about to drop called the Nike LD Waffle by Sakai for $180. US Seen since the Paris runway show in 2018, this sneaker is finally dropping after being postponed a time or two. Fusing together two iconic Nike sneakers, the Nike LDV and the Waffle Daybreak, it's a hybrid sneaker with double themed designs. This includes double swooshes and double tongues stacked on top of one another. The midsole is also double layered as well, with double lacing too it seems. The sneaker also features an elongated EVA midsole with protruding inserts, rubber outsole, and a waffle traction pattern underneath. Coupled with a simple mesh upper, the contrasting colorway is surely a head turner. As of now, a blue and a green colorway is releasing first. Other colorways are coming soon. Then on the 17th, the next collaboration between Nike and Fear of God continues with more colorways to their previous silhouettes. The first one is the Air Fear of God Raid model, now featuring a black colorway after only releasing its first light bone colorway two weeks ago. Retailed at 190 US dollars, it features smooth suede uppers with mesh overlays just like the previous colorway. It comes with a blacked out lace lock with a crossed front strap inspired by an older Nike silhouette called the Air Raid. It has the same air cushioning underneath, just like the light bone, with a tough EVA midsole and diamond pattern outsole for traction. This black variation does seem a bit more popular to people, and it seems like a bit more stores are getting them as well, as I've noticed Foot Lockers here in Toronto, Canada are releasing them too. Dropping next to the Fear of God raid are two additional colorways of the Moccasin silhouette on the 17th for $170. US Again, after the first release of the Pure Platinum colorway two weeks ago, this mock model is already seeing its next shading alternatives. Incorporating a blacked out version just like the Rage silhouette and an extra beige colorway, the moccasin is surely becoming a versatile summer option. Featuring a strong rip stop upper, the focus point of this sneaker is a lack of physical laces but instead a large strap wrapping over the shoe. There's a drawstring at the heel to lock in the upper a bit, with very subtle swoosh brandings overall. If I'm not wrong, the sneaker's cushioning, midsole, and outsole is exactly the same as the Rage silhouette, donning a simple air cushioning system at the heel with durable EVA midsole and rubber outsole with diamond-shaped patterns. The moccasin is less typed than the Raids, but the black colorway should be a bit more popular than the first pure platinum colorway. Lastly, on the 18th, Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan, is relocating his store trophy room. Celebrating the opening, a new set of Jordan 5 Retro Collab is releasing specifically for this event and location for $200. US Two colorways are slated for release, one is in ice blue, rumored to only have 7,000 pairs available. The red pair comes in a limited run of 223 pairs apparently, rumored to be only for friends and family. Both pairs feature fancy suede paneling and icy blue midfoot netting. The side is embroidered with the number 5 to commemorate Marcus's jersey number, with a bold Trophy Room logo at the heel. Each sneaker comes with three additional lacing options as well for versatility. As of now, it seems only Trophy Room is dropping them, so if you're interested in these fives, be on alert. Anyways, that concludes this week of W Overview. Make sure to click on the prompt on the top right corner of this video and vote, cop or drop on each shoe. Also, which headline sneaker is your favorite this week? Let me know down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next W Overview.